Fox, Fox, what are you doing? It's time to start the interview. What? what? I, I was, I was sleeping. Everything, everything's fine. Give me a second. Him, him, him. Welcome to Coffee with Miss Schwerd. I am your host, Fox. Da, 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 da. And here is Miss Schwerd. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here today and to meet you guys. Here is your coffee, Miss Schwerd. This is your favorite blend. Thanks, Fox. I had no idea you drank coffee. Did you make this? Oh, I, I learned during quarantine. Have you been using my coffee maker? Have you been the one making a huge mess in the kitchen? Uh, let's start the interview. You're going into your 10th year of teaching. Is that right? What are you teaching this year? That's right. I've been teaching English for 10 years. This year, I'll be teaching sixth grade English, seventh grade English, and eighth grade English. No, wait, genius hour. That is amazing. You are amazing. Fox, this coffee tastes a little weird. Have you been drinking out of my cup? Mm, let's move forward, shall we? How old are you? I turned 33 this year in June. And where were you born? Born and raised in Downey, California, which is uh, in Los Angeles area. Hmm. And what is your social security number? Uh, why do you need that? Oh, never mind, never mind. Where did you work before Pilgrim? Um, before Pilgrim, I worked for five years at a charter school in the Watts neighborhood of South Central Los Angeles. Hmm. Speaking of education, I read somewhere that you yourself have several degrees, a bachelor's in English, your teaching credential in English, and your master's degree in English? What does that mean for your teaching? Tell us. Tell us. We want to know. I see this picture of you still drinking out of my coffee cup. Oh, no, no, never. Caught never. In the act. Caught in the act, you little dog. Um, yes, I do have my bachelor's teaching credentials and master's degrees all in English because I love English so much. It's my favorite subject, obviously. Um, what that means is I'm qualified to teach English from kindergarten all the way through community college. So I don't know if you go to community college, I might be your teacher. Where are you getting all this stuff from? Are you reading my computer? Um, of course not. I would never. Back to the interview that I am leading here. Your education is impressive now that you're all grown up. But I found a picture of you when you were in high school. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck, Fox? What? Where are you getting this stuff from? Get that picture out of here. It serves you right for having my puppy picture on your computer background for so long. Baby pictures, how embarrassing. Anyways, <laughs> what is your favorite book? Mine is Everybody Poops. Fox, your selection does not surprise me. I can't believe how much you poop. But um, one of my favorite books is called The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. And it's a little mature for uh, middle school students. But when they get older, I absolutely recommend it. What are some things you like to do in your free time, Ms. Schwerd? I like to do crafty stuff, although I never really have time to do crafty stuff. Um, I like to read. And lately, I've been trying my hand at gardening with mixed levels of success. 
Ah, uh, yes, I have seen those dead plants in the backyard. <laughs> Let's get serious. What do you want students to know? I want students this year to know that learning is like going to the gym to get stronger. Sometimes you have a trainer there making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. But if you don't put in the full effort, even when the trainer's not there, then you will not see real results. When you sit down in a machine, you could choose the weight that's like too easy for you. And everybody will think you're working out, like nobody will be able to tell the difference, but your muscles won't get bigger or stronger. And therefore you've kind of just cheated yourself and like wasted your time at the gym by pretending to work out rather than doing the actual work and strengthening yourself. I thought we were talking about academics. How would this look in a classroom? For example, if your learning objective is to identify symbols in a text and how they're explained, cheating the grind, as my PE friend would say, would be something like Googling symbols in To Kill a Mockingbird or something like that. Would it give you an answer? Yes. Would you possibly get a higher score on your um, assignment? M maybe, and you may even get away with it, but will you actually be getting smarter? No. I see, I see. Is there anything else you want to say to parents or students? Uh, what I'd like to leave parents and students with is that before I'm a teacher, I'm a person, and I know that this is a really tough time for all of us. So if you need anything, please, please, please let me know. You can email me. Um, you can reach out to me in the chat, and I will do everything I can to help you out this year. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was so beautiful. <laughs> all right. You'll be all right. Beautiful. Okay, come on. Beautiful. Well, that concludes this interview. Thank you for joining us. And now, my walk, please. <laughs>